Hey guys, this is John from WCI, and today we will be going over Power BI and R integration, and I'll show you how you can put in word clouds and dendrograms and clustering for sentiment analysis into Power BI. So we'll start by opening up Power BI, and let's go to get data right here. And I like to make sure that everything is up and running in R before I put it into Power BI. And also, you have to make sure that the packages are installed in your R interface at first as well, too. OK. And so then this screen will pop up after we click Get Data. And we'll need to scroll down to where it says R script and press connect. And I'll just go ahead and copy this paste, copy and paste this information I've already done. And this code is just creating the tables and getting the data into R. And then we'll paste that right into here. Press OK. All right, and as you'll see, the, all the tables that it created right here, we'll go ahead and select all of them. And then click Load. And it'll give you previews right here. And so click Load. All right, sweet. And so now we'll see all of our uh, new tables that we created from our code into the fields box right here. And so first, the data set that I'm using is from uh, Kaggle, from the Kaggle website. It's uh, airline sentiment. It gives us a bunch of different airlines, and it collects tweets about those airlines, and it does an analysis on those tweets. We also have the longitude and latitude data as well so that we can plot it in a map. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we'll click on this R button in the R visualizations. There we go. Oops. On the wrong one. There we go. And then so we'll need to enable script visuals right here. And let's see, we are going to need to copy this code that I've already created. And then we'll have to select the variables that we want to use. And actually, let me rename these variables real quick. Location, and this one is going to be airline and then this one will be called the reason which gives us the negative reason that people gave for the tweet okay and so let's select all these click on this R code again go here this is my code. And as you see right here, what Power BI does for us is it creates a data frame and it adds in the variables that I selected from the location neg table. And let's run that code. Sweet. And so this will give us the location of all the different tweets. And then the larger circles will mean that that those longitude and latitudes were given multiple times. So it could have been at the airport or it could have been the same person for multiple airlines. Who knows? Something that we could figure out later on in an analysis. Oops. Let me do that. There we go. 
And then we can go ahead and add in some extra stuff. So let's do, for this one, let's do airline. Let's drag that to the axis. And then let's drag this to the value. So to do count. And then we can also create another one for the reason. And value. Cool. And so then we can make it interactive. Click on American. It'll give you all the negative feedback from American. And then if we click on the customer, it'll tell us where all the different tweets were for bad customer service.